Okay, so we're going to have a look at some quadratic congruences here. And you'll see that these two questions here are pretty similar. We've got x squared plus 4x in both. So I'll just underline that. These two are equal. But we've got plus 1 and plus 2. And they're both modulo 11 and congruent with 0. So what I'm going to tell you is that one of these has two solutions and one of these doesn't have any solutions. And what we're going to do is as the video progresses, we're going to look into which ones have a solution and which ones don't and some sort of reason as to why that might be. OK, so let's just have a look at the quadratic here. So x squared plus 4x plus 1 and x squared plus 4x plus 2. All quadratics are in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c. And that's congruent with 0 modulo n. OK, so in these questions here are A equals 1, are B equals 4, are C equals 1 or 2. Let's write that like that. And our modulo is 11. So in this case, our N equals 11. OK, so it's just the value of the C here which is different. So let's go about trying to solve this one and then we'll try this one as well and see what happens. So normal business when you're trying to solve these. First of all, we take the square of these terms containing x. So we end up with x plus 2 squared and then a plus 1 is congruent with 0 mod 11. Let me just put that in brackets actually. OK. Now, as you know from elementary maths, this has now changed the value of the left-hand side of this congruence. So we now need to subtract 4, so minus 4. So just simplifying up a little bit, x plus 2 squared minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3, is congruent with 0, modulo 11. OK, so now we can bring this onto the other side. And then you'll see our first little problem that we've got. We want to take the square root on both sides. But as we're dealing with modulus, we want to deal with whole numbers. Take square root of that, fine, not a problem. Square root of that, first little problem. So now what we need to do is to find values of 3 plus 11k. So where k is in the set of integers, or you could also say uh, real numbers. You could put an n there if you wanted as well. And this k will range uh, from 0 to 10. We could range to in infinity, in fact, but here we're going to be interested on 0 to 10. So let's just write up here quickly now all the square numbers all the way up from 0 to 10. So 0 squared is 0, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared equals 4, 3 squared 9. Let's get these in quickly. OK. OK, that's our square run numbers from 0 to 10. So now we want 3 plus 11 times an integer k, where we're going to get this number on the left hand on the right hand side here. So 3, so we get 3, 14, 25. So that's good. So now if k is 2, so for example, let's imagine k equals 2, we end up with 25. That leaves us to 25. So by the laws of modular arithmetic, we can now plug in a 25 instead of this 3. And 3 is congruent with 25 mod 11. So 25 is congruent with 3 mod 11. So as that is good, we can now plug in the 25 here. We can take a square root of 25 to give us 5. So that's, that's going to help us. So x plus 2 squared is congruent with 25 mod 11. And that will give us x plus 2 is congruent with plus or minus 5. Don't forget the two solutions for the square root there. So plus or minus 5, again, 
sticking with the mod 11. So now we end up with x is congruent with the plus 5. Now I can bring the minus 2 on this side. And then minus 5, minus 2. And again, mod 11. So now we've got two solutions, x congruent with 3, or x is congruent with minus 7. But mod 11, we can also call this 4. So that's congruent with 4. So this gives us two solutions for the value of 1. So let's write here now a little table here, two solutions for x equals 1. Sorry, yeah, so for, sorry, for not x, we need a c there for c. So when this value here of c is 1, we've got two solutions. Okay, so now let's have a look at this side and let's see how we get on there. So now we've got x plus 2 squared, as we had here, minus 4. This time the c value is 2. It's congruent with 0, mod 11. OK, so now a quick bit of arithmetic in our head. Minus 4 plus 2, it's minus 2. Minus 2, move to the side, will then give us plus 2. So then we get x plus 2 squared is congruent with 2 modulo 11. OK, so as we was with this side, square, uh, take square root of this side, no problem. To get to x plus 2, square root of this one, it's going to give us a problem. So as we was here, we're now looking for 2 plus 11k, where k is an integer as it was here. So we need to go through this table here and see if there's any numbers we can find that match this criteria of 2 plus 11k to give us a perfect square. So we've got 2, which is obviously not here. I keep adding on 11. So you've got 2 plus 11 is 13, 24, 35, 46, 57, 68, 79, 90, then 101 takes us back here. OK, so that's not looking like there's any solutions at all to give us a perfect square. So therefore what we say is, that when c equals 2, we we'll say there are no solutions for c equals 2. So now what we need to do is, let's see if we can solve for all the values of c from 0 to 10. So c equals 0, and I'm going to list them all down here. So we've got 1 and 2, we've already taken care of. So now we're looking for 0, 3... 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so let's see now which one of these we can find a solution for, which one doesn't have. So we need to look back here, what's going on when we're doing our calculation here. So we have a minus 4 plus 2. So I've got minus 4 plus C. So let's just write that down in here. So we've got minus 4 plus C. And then what happens is we flip it. To the other side so therefore then that becomes minus of whatever we've got in here so our formula here what we need is is minus of minus 4 plus c and then add 11k see k we know is an integer so this is our formula which we're going to use when using this table here so let's start off when c is zero so for example if this is x squared plus 4x plus zero so minus 4 plus 0, minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4, minus of minus 4 is also positive 4, straight away 4 is in here. So c equals 0, that has a solution. So let's just write that in this table here. Now straight on to 3, minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, minus of minus 1 is positive 1, 1 is in there. So 3 is good to go. Let's write that down on here. Now let's try 4. Minus 4 plus 4 is 0. Minus of minus 0. 0 is in here. Now in this, this case, when this bar here is 0, 
This is a special case when we've got only one solution. So let's just write that up here for you here now, just to see what you can see, what, so you can see what's happening. So let's take it on this line here. So we've got x plus two squared minus four plus four congruent with zero mod 11. So therefore we've got x plus two squared is congruent with zero mod 11. And now just quickly here, take square root on both sides. We end up with just x plus two. Square root on this, we end up with zero. So now we end up with x plus two is congruent with plus or minus zero. We can see that this is always going to be zero here, regardless, plus or minus is the same. And then we add minus two, we're always going to get minus two. So there's only one solution. Okay, so now let's check out with c equals five. Minus four plus five gives us positive one. Positive one minus becomes minus one. And then the module 11 world, that gives us 10. So I go into this table here, 10, 21, 32, 43, 54, 65, 76, so on. So I'm suggesting five has no solutions. Okay, six minus four plus six is positive two. Then gives us minus two. Minus two in the module 11 world will give us nine. So six is looking good. Okay, now for seven. Minus four plus seven is positive three. Positive three will then give us minus three. The module of will give us eight. So then we've got eight, 19, 30, 41, 52, 63, 74. So seven, I would say, has no solutions. Eight. Minus four plus eight is positive four, which then becomes minus four. Minus four modulo 11 will give us seven. So I'll go through this table again. Seven, 18, 29, 40, 51, 62, 73. I'm going to say eight, no solutions. Let's try nine. Here's nine. So nine minus four plus nine is five minus that is minus five module 11 will we give us six let's try this table six 17 28 39 50 61 72 i'd say nine also no solutions let's just change this box a little bit okay and our last one we need to check is 10 minus four plus 10 is six which then gives us minus six Minus six in the module 11 world will give us positive five. Five plus 11 is 16. Perfect square there. So therefore 10, I will say, is uh, giving us two solutions.